So can all of you see it? Is it good? Go rename the stream as well. Okay. Reacting to patch. Okay. So. Um. Hello and welcome to season 8 where we are celebrating warm weather and good friends as we are preparing for the return of the, our map monsters, the wild man and the dragon turtle. These are the RAM July 18, yeah, brings with uh, rank season 8 with a new map pool as well as the new mini event called summer sites. Balance change and bug fixes also arrive with this update, however given our proximity to the uh, exciting Red Bull World Arena qualifier we made a slight adjustment to our typical planning and we'll be rolling out more major changes to the meta mid-season with a patch plan for mid to late august you can read more on this update as well as the future plans for the season 8 and uh, and uh, beyond below okay season 8 it's time for release the summer festivities yeah for, uh, so the, with many new rewards to injure uh, okay we don't care we get new portrait new coat of arm amazing Rank season 8 update, well there is still no master or anything between diamond and conqueror, so time to soak up the sun. Yup, that's it. Map pool rotation. We have some update. Uh, dive in the okay, what is the one where this one? Arabia, cliffside again, Rocky River, Himayama, that's good, Gorge, Hillland Dale, Canal is coming back, the pit is coming, and Baltic? Wait, so we have two water map, right? So both eagle one and uh, cannon is two because on Himayama Rocket Rear you don't need to be at the dock. Okay. Team Arabia Cliffside Rocket Rear Canal Gorge Immigration Hideout Ports and Water Horse. Build Spotlight New Map Socotra. We are unveiling a new map Socotra. Uh yes. Uh, we made the adjustment as the default attack move behavior designed to help prevent accidental misclick on PC. This can be changed back by uh, setting the attack move behavior setting under the game option legacy. Okay. Fix an issue where scouts can skip their reload animation. That's interesting. AI update, campaign, hotkeys. Population capacity reached will only be shown once when, uh, even if multiplayer units are present once. Okay, so there is nothing crazy. I did a free for all map pool and allowed for the map vetoes to be specified in that pool. Holy moly. Uh, maps. So this is our first new map called Socotra. Chaos emerges as the different civilization crow together on the small island of Socotra, struggling to expand on what little space they could get. So the reason why they put Socotra here on Red Bull Bull, because they wanted to make an official map. General map changes. Sheep now produce 200 food instead of 250. By the way, this is a nerf to Mongols. Two additional sheep spawn under each player's start, uh, starting town center. So... The intention of the chain of is guarantee a safe amount of sheep for each player and reduce the chance of game swinging as a result of one player getting the majority of the sheep on the map. With this change, the overall food on a standard map kept mostly the same. This is by only 200 per player. See? So, instead of 250 food that you're going to have for the sheep, now it's going to be 200 food. Um, yeah. So, let's go to the next one. Uh, Baltic, fix an issue where pit mines and ooze could not be built. Cliffside, neutral gold and stone mine no longer spawn on the cliffside in a way that prevents ooze uh, pit placement. Himayama, neutral gold, uh, fixes, fixes, fixes. Balance and bug fixes. Fix an issue that caused perfect issue when interacting with the player profile. Fix a bug where the game would crash if the player clicked on a unit or up in a global queue. Fix a bug where the game crash and first game not serving. Fix a... Okay, there's a lot of bug fixes uh, for crashing. So these are all crash fixes. Alright, 
These are reworked. We made an adjustment to the default attack mode behavior. Previously, when issuing an attack mode to a unit or building, the attack mode was converted into a forced attack command as you had to right click the target instead. This made it particularly difficult to use attack mode around the areas with a lot of farms. And we often lead the misclick variation in the attack move the unit nearby. The new default attack move bear always treads the attack move as a ground click, so that when you issue an attack move to a unit or a building, your units will attack move to the location. On PC, this kind of. Oh, that's not bad. I like that. A game about Dominion. When a king is garrisoned in a transfer sheet, it's no longer possible to delete the sheep. Hell yeah. Look at that. Balance and gameplay changes. Duck and House of Wisdom now have both an economic and military ready point. When setting a ready uh, with right click, setting the target to a fishing deposit or a trade settlement will default the setting an economic ready, while anything else will set a military ready. Fishing ships and traders will only travel to the economic ready when they are created and all the ships will travel to the military. Okay, this is insanely good. Ready points cannot be queued using the hotkey uh, or command card. It is now possible to buy sell resources at the market in batches of 500 by holding shift while pressing the buy sell button. Oh my god. After de uh, defeating a forced attack target, buildings will scan for a new target instead of always holding back to their previous target. Okay, so far they are cooking. Siege weapons that are close to their target to fire on them will now attempt to move away from the target in a position where they are able to fire. They will only do this one. Okay, horseman range increase from 0 to 29 to 0 0.38, Gazi and Sipai unaffected. So the horseman actually got buffed, chat. The horseman actually got buffed. Second unit also have a gas also increase from 7 to 8. Okay, it's 2TC meta is back. 2TC is back. 2TC meta back. Vision now deposit carry resources after completing construction of a f what? Vision will now deposit carry resources after completing construction of farm. Sheesh! Naval updates all civilization. Those and canoes now fire arrows from the head of the ship instead of the center. Ha! <laughs> uh, heated shots. Archer ship now switch to insert arrow effect uh, after researching heated shots. Visual representation. Okay. Fishing boat liners are reduced by 25%. Fishing boat train time increased from 25 to 30 seconds. They nerfed water. They nerfed water. Look at that. A best dynasty and the suit. What the fuck is suit and armor? Docks now only shows the range of the, uh, for the healing arrow. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, corrected a book where medical centers would parasite on destroy landmark capital. Sun. Oh my god. Oh my god. The Byzantine nerf. Olive grow cost increased from 60 to 70. I mean, honestly. I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough. Like, like seriously, obviously. like literally. You got two minute ad. It's time to swap, brother. So this, I don't know. So drumble move speed increased from one point thirty eight to one point five. Okay, that's that's okay. Byzantine is gonna be a, a new water ship. Drummond Greek fire base damage is increased from two to four. Dude, they are, they are, they are cooking. This way only applies to fishing ships and demos. Damage versus military ships and building unchanged. Wait, what? This way only applies to fishing ships and demos? What are we? I have no idea what they're talking about. Well, anyway, so Dromon is going to be insanely fast. 1.5 movement speed is crazy good. I mean... I would increase it to 75, honestly. So the, I don't know why the olive grow need to be cheaper when it generates two different resources. Correct an issue where appearing fast would overlap with shield ball and levitar when playing on Xbox console with keyboard and mouse. Olive is when a property deposit when a villager carrying it is garrison. Okay, okay, okay. Chinese. Increase the radius of the Imperial Palace spy ability from 1.25 tiles to 3 tiles. Alright. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna get some Imperial Palace. Increase the duration of the Imperial Palace spy ability from 10 to 15. Correct the division where the battery ram was missing from Chicken U Radio. Oh my god. So, okay, so we got some Imperial Palace buff on the Chinese. Now, this is gonna be disgusting. Dali is gonna be the top one. Water Sift. Amgrace now covers to the technology score based on the average based on cost. Fishing ship. Damage decreased from 7 to 6, but wait, wait. 
Gaysa squares in the dog's production speed modifier decrease from 30, uh, 30 to 20. But wait, his academy now can be selected. Uh, fishy boat arrows no longer miss targets. Manuscript create is now a difficult bonus for the civilization. Dog garrison capacity increase from 3 to 4. Dogs now generate influence as most do. Dogs will now provide a free scholar in its garrison if it was the first dog constructed before the mosque. So you get a free scholar inside the dog and the dog will work 20% faster. Dude, Delhi is gonna be the most strongest water sim. I'm not even joking. Delhi is gonna be broken. I'm not joking, chat. Delhi is gonna be broken on water maps. I can give you the thingy. Here you go. So, but it's better if you read it with me, you little shit. So, dude, this gonna be broken. How is it broken? Well, first of all, you get a free, um, what's that? Uh, free scholar inside the dock, so you don't need to build a mosque. Now you need to build a mosque and a dock at the same time. Now you just build a dock and you get a free scholar, and that will give you twenty percent faster uh, uh, production speed, right? So which means, don't forget, the fishing ship got increased from twenty-five to thirty, which means the Delhi will make fishing ships twenty percent faster. And now they do, they don't uh, miss their targets. So the daddy fish daddy fishing ship will never miss the target. Are you sure, brother? It, it's fucking written here. And also they increase the dog carries garrison capacity to four. That's insane. And dogs ge generate influence as most do. Yeah, the daddy is gonna be insanely broken on water maps. Like it's insanely. This is Delhi. This is only Delhi. I'm reading Delhi. Do you see? Delhi is Sultanate. Like that is gonna be crazy on water maps. And again, that is gonna be the only save with twenty percent faster production speed. It's not, no, 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 Phyllis Barto, don't be uh, dented. 20% faster f production speed and all the fishing sheep got nerfed. But this, this means the Delhi fishing ship is the only fishing ship will not get nerfed. And also you get the, what is it? Manuscript trade is now default bonus for the civilization. Okay, next one. Watch, watch your. I mean, close your eyes. Close your eyes right now. You, you should not see this because it's gonna be disgusting. Okay, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be disgusting. Listen, English. King train increased from thirty-five to fifty seconds, so almost a minute to get the king. White tower production speed decreased uh, from 100% to 75%. So both white tower and king got nerfed. English mains, close your eyes and forget this. But it will happen. All right, next one. French, dance at work. Uh, now in dark age, it's going to be 15% faster. Uh, Feudal Age, it didn't change, and neither Castle and uh, Imperial. So you just get uh, faster villagers in Dark Age. Red plus landmark influence increased by one tile to much no more keeps. Oh, okay, this is gonna be crazy. Artillery shot had been reworked. Target ability that increased the range of the cannon by five tiles and damage by 30% for one shot can only target buildings, can target a shoot into fog of war. Reveals the shot location through fog for three seconds and two sec uh, 200 seconds cooldown. Which means now your French bombard, if you build that landmark, has 15 tiles of range. 15 tiles of range French bombard if you build that landmark. 15 tiles of range bombard every 200 seconds. You can literally destroy every building. I, I don't think so, Chicken. So yeah, the, this, I think this is going to be really good. 
like you can you can get the informations etc i think this is really good but the best one is that you make villagers 15 percent faster now in dark age i think this is a really good french buff like all these are really good french buff HRE March Idris moves been decreased to 5% in Dark Age and 10% from the Feudal Age onward. I think that's not enough. That's not enough. I think HRE need to be more nerfed. That this is not enough, in my opinion. In my opinion, the gathering speed should be nerfed to 30%. And you can get to 50% in Castle Age anyway. Shinobi Blink Cast Time reduced from 0 0.8 to 0 0.4. Shinobi stability age cost reduced from 2.1.25. Uh, Ataka Bune got fixed here, as you can see. Uh, Yumi, actually, okay, I, I never agreed with this. I don't know why the devs decided, I, I have no idea, but I never agreed to increase the Yumi Ashigaru health. I think that's that's a that's a mistake. In, in my opinion, I, I even told the devs as well. I think this is a mistake to increase the uh, Archer health. They should give the one damage back to the archer, but they should leave the archer on 60 health. The Tara cost reduced. This 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 is you know why is it so strong? Because now you can get uh, two or three scout in dark age and harass. <laughs> and also not just that, but you can your dark age spearman to get them plus one damage is much much cheaper. Coco Tension now benefits from Military Academy. <gasps> oh my god, we can make Shinobis faster. Oh my, that's really good. Oh, by the way, you know what does it mean? Shim uh, Shinobi Sabotage co uh, cost time reduced. That means, um, just let you know, that you can teleport, you can blink to your opponent PC and immediately disable it. So you, you can sacrifice one Shinobi to non-stop disable your opponent TC for 30 seconds. Yeah, horseman got buff. You can disable, yeah, you can disable uh, the TC for 30 seconds. So now what player is gonna do? They are gonna go with the Kokatan ship, right? And they are gonna disable the, the enemy TC immediately. So you can uh, sacrifice one uh, Shinobi for that. But the enemy can't make villagers for 30 seconds. Half a minute. Half a minute you can't make villagers. Uh, Japanese corrected the selection of some Japanese building where the section bounds extended beyond the front read. Remove ready point command from Mongo girls since they don't produce units. Lol. Destroy Mongo landmarks that have an unpack cannot be attacked by under repair. Fix the bug where the technology queue that the player then will be removed from the queue uh, upon completion of the shot. Yeah. Mongo patch of sheep production uh, time reduced from 140 seconds to 116. This is uh, this is in concert with the chain of sheep food, but I think it's gonna be broken. Good. What? Wait, 140 to 116. So now it's it's less than. Wait. So wait. How how fast is it gonna be when it's on Uvu? I think it's gonna be every minute. You're gonna get the sheep every minute now when you build it on the Uvu. That's gonna be actually good. Mango die cost reduced from 120 food, 60 uh, 40 gold to 90 food and 60 gold. Double production cost reduced from 160 stone to 150 stone. So the mango die got cheaper, so people can buy, can be a little bit happier, right? And the train time got improved as well by two seconds. But wait a minute, Mongo two TC, Tanset the cost reduced from 900 wood to 850 wood. An early horseman. Okay, this is gonna be disgusting, dude. This is gonna be disgusting. Early horseman range armor increase from one to two. That's gonna be that's gonna be something to talk about. Oh my god. Did Mongols can go to TC now? Mongols can tower rush English. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. So now you can tower rush English, right? Because you have two ranged armors, so the English villagers are not going to do that much of a damage anymore. Three instead of four. And you can build a second town center, because this is the same cost as a normal town center, right? Because 400 wood and 350 stone. Oh, no, wait. No, because that's 750. Uh, I mean, this, this is good. This is still good. 
So 50, you can say 50 wood. I think you're gonna build a second time center much faster. So it's still 100 resource more expensive than a normal TC, but at least not 150. I think small changes like this and this will swing Mongol into OP, OP2 TC state. Dude, look at this. Like, I'm not joking. This is the insane change for the Mongols. Malian, fishing boats drop off 10% of their food as gold. Can you imagine? You are generating food while gathering fishes. Fishing boats drop 10 of the 10 percent of their food as a gold. You know how crazy is that? You you just get your fish and you get gold. Which means I mean uh because a fishing ship can get a 40 uh, food, four four gold every time they drop. It's only four gold per drop, but but it's still four gold. You know what I mean? This is four gold per every drop. Is it enough to make viable uh, money viable on water? Of course, because now you don't need to build a pit mine. Don't forget that. So you can f focus on fishing ships. And after that, you can build a pit mine. So you, you will generate gold from the pit mine and you're going to generate gold from the water. Yeah, you don't need to build a pit mine because you have this. Okay, next one. Military school train multiplier reduced from 5 to 4.75. That's uh, the reason behind that because the feudal was insanely bad. So this is a buff to the feudal. Istanbul Observatory is working as intensive and landmark is destroyed and being rebuilt. Oh yeah, that was bad by the way. Grand Gullies scale production speed per age like they influ- Oh my god, they made the Grand Gullies uh, strong on water. Okay, we need to play water maps, dude. Dude, Grand Gale got buffed. Now they are actually military schools. Is the Imperial Rosary Lemmer now applies to. Oh my god. Imagine this, dude. Load the efficient boat train time increased. Oh. Guys, do you read that Roost nerf? Do you see that Roost nerf? 46 seconds to make a fishing ship? It's almost a minute now to make a fishing ship with Rus. Dude, they 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 clapped it. They clapped their fishing ship. That's in that's dude. Imagine Dali can make fishing ship twenty percent faster. Rus is like, hey, dude, I gonna make it in forty six seconds. Variant civilization change the following change apply to blah 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 blah. Are you bit? Correct an issue where IUB Bridger could not force construct stone wall bastion segments. Oh my god, that was actually a bug. Military wing reinforced and fueled. It now takes 15 seconds for the first desert raider. Bro, all the IUB like, abusers, they are crying. Reduced number of villages from 8 to 7. Uh, well, trade being advised, fueled age at the bag increased from 2 to 3, and the castle age at the bag increased from 4, 4 to 5. Yeah, right. Dude, I think the sieve is useless, huh? I, I I'm not joking, not joking. The the sieve just become useless. Okay, guys, listen. The, this is this this they made Ayubi literally useless. Uh, I did that for this battle. It's dog shit. <laughs> I played fifty Ayubi games and uh, it's dog shit. Next, Jean Dark. They got the artillery shot. Zushi, correct an issue the temple somewhere in the building had 7,500 health instead of 5,000. Amazing. What's on the horizon? Okay, listen. This is good. Okay, listen. That wraps everything we have in store for you in this update. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled for our follow up patch, which we are targeting to release a few weeks after Red Bull Volo Arena Clippers has completed. We have a lot more changes coming that we are excited to get in your head. Here's a sneak peek. A full rework of Roos Bounty system, which I know is gonna be insanely good, by the way. 
The Deer Stone will grant access to a new unit, Count Hunters. The House of Learning receives some new and compelling technologies. A mid-season map put, look, the, all your cries, you know, cry on cry, Reddit, cry everywhere. Look what happened. By the way, we told the devs to do it. Uh, uh, it was already planned three months ago. By the way, just, just let you know, it, it wasn't your Reddit cry. It was our cry. <laughs> it was it was literally our cry. Okay, so a mid-season map pool refresh. A mid-season map pool refresh. Okay. Uh, many more balanced tweaks. Um, OTD zero buff. Uh, so just wait for the next update, okay? And you're gonna see OTD buff. Don't worry about it. This we uh this so again, this is not all the things. So this is now what they are teasing you. But let me tell you, there's gonna be changes in 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 sieves, okay? So they just couldn't put it here, okay? So there, there are more changes as you can see. This is just a few, few of them, you know, just tease you a little bit. But there's gonna be, I'm 100% sure, changes to HRE because, you know, everyone, everyone is literally bonking the devs head like, hey, dude, you forgot, you know, one thing, you forgot one thing. And um, yeah, we, we will see. And don't worry if your sieve or like, oh, they did, didn't got buffed yet. Um, wait for the next patch. Okay, so again, this patch is not the new season patch, the new, the, the, the new, new, new one. You know what I mean? So this this will come in like the middle of the season. So we're gonna have a mid season map pool refresh and another another major uh, patch. You know what I mean? So again, mid season map pool refresh and another major patch. That's what I'm saying. So it's gonna be mid in mid season. It's gonna be a major patch, and it's gonna it gonna have mid season map pool refresh. All right. So this patch will also see the return of the seasonal event map monsters. You can expect to close uh, out the summer if you are in the northern hemisphere with the return of the some familiar and friendly monster on the land and sea. Though it will be shaking things up a bit more. Uh, things up a bit to make it easier to enjoy the fun. We are incredibly excited to share season 8 with you and we cannot hear wh what you think. The team is eagerly putting out our next patch but we are always keeping an eye on your feedback. We are also turning our attention to what's next as we plan our uh, plan for our season 9 release later this year and even exciting offerings. Okay, so <laughs> They okay, so chat this this everything. Oh my god. Okay, so If you are not retarded, sorry for saying that but if you are not retarded you understood what they are saying about more exciting offerings in 2025, okay, so if you are not dented If you are not dented, you know That's it if you are not dented, you know, what does it mean? So again, don't forget, this is the most important. I didn't know you, they're gonna put it here. So we are we are also turning our attention, what's next? We plan for a season nine release later this year. Yes, and even more exciting offerings in spring 2025. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> Sheesh. Yeah, if it is birthday, is a dev cap. Yeah, so this patch is gonna be okay, I must say. There are like really good meta changes. You know what did I like mostly? The sheep. Uh, the sheep change. Where is it? Here. This is this is insane meta change. Now that the sheep is only 200 food instead of 250. That's, that means the HRE player Wait, they found HRE Fast Castle, if you think about it, because HRE Fast Castle is about sheep, right? Now it's gonna be you know, it's gonna be so much harder with HRE, because you're gonna have less food.
Oh my god, and the berry seeds will be better. Dude, Delhi and Abbasid Ayubid is gonna be better because they eat from berries. Right? So they don't care about the sheep. And Mongols that they make sheep every I'm pretty sure on Ufu that's gonna be every minute. Like the or me I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be every minute on Ufu. I mean, Ayubid is broken right now, zero, but now Ayubid is gonna be useless. So, like, okay, the sheep nerf will not affect these civilizations. English, civilizations that eating from berries. So, okay, civilization that can transition into farms really fast, right? And civilization that uh, can eat berries fast. Ooh, this is a nerf to Japanese as well. To the Japanese fast castle, if you think about it. Yeah, this is actually a nerf to Japanese fast castle. It's, it's a fast castle nerf. It's literally a fast castle nerf. Uh, bees uh, farms got uh, more expensive, zero eye. Japanese can eat from berries, but they can't increase the berry, right? A bad seed, Ayubid, and Delhi, they can give another 100 food to the berries. And they don't need to upgrade anything. And Japanese have to upgrade something from the house. Okay, so this is literally nerfed to every sieve that's going fast castle. So yeah, this, this is actually crazy. By the way, uh, who, who read my reddit post? I, I'm really curious <laughs> That the winter is coming prepare winter is coming that meant literally that patch is coming today That that was the meaning of that. I just couldn't say like hey guys patch is coming today No, I, I had to you know like prepare winter is coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that was the meaning that the patch is coming today. That's why I said like prepare winter is coming why call it winter? Because I couldn't say patch because it's in the fucking NDA. I was like, what should I say? That's not gonna break the NDA. Let's say winter is coming. Age of Empire for devs have a more. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> Cheat, yeah. HCTAP yeah. uh, is coming. Oh yeah, the Ottoman sheep. Oh my god, Ottoman sheep got nerfed as well. I don't know if it's Andy, but are there some changes that you didn't know about? Uh, I I I knew about all of these. So what it's written here, I knew about all of them. All of this. All of this. <coughs> But I was not sure if they really put it here. You know what I mean? Uh, what I didn't know about are these. So the f uh, no, no, sorry, not that. Uh, the deer stone will grant access to a new unit. So you're gonna actually build the deer stone, I guess. Uh, the house of learning. I mean, <sighs> dude, I'm literally molding to devs since 2023 something about house of learning is 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 dented like every month i post about delhi that fixed the house of learning and they are fixing it okay i didn't know about this i didn't know about this i knew about this and i know what's coming so i i, I know what's in here so it's literally just the you know like like wait what is it meta is there a meta somewhere Oh, here. So that's. Uh, we made a slight adjustment to our typical planning and we've been rolling out more major changes to the meta mid season. So they're gonna change the meta mid season with a patch planned uh, for mid late August. So in August, you, we're gonna get another meta changing patch. See?
How's it loading his dog shit in one way as well, honestly? So, also, yeah, the uh, Ottoman sheep got nerfed as well. Why is the house of learning is so bad? Because the compound defender is way stronger. You can make keeps uh, cheaper, right? Very cheap keeps. And you can uh, upgrade the uh, villager production in the compound of defender. So like there is no not a single player who is going house of learning the pro players or the semi pro players. Nobody. Everyone goes with the compound. It's like Arkham versus Mindwork. Yeah, exactly. So just like what Tammy said, it's like the Arkham versus Mindwork. You never go Mindwork with HRE. You always go Arkham. Because there is no point of going Mindwork. It's the same with the um that uh, which sieves benefits most from these changes? Every sieve that's a berry eating sieve, Mongols. Uh, Dali is gonna be broken on water maps. So Dali is gonna be actually broken on water maps. Um, Byzantine got a huge, I mean, let's say a good nerf. Not, not like insanely nerf, but a good nerf. Uh, but the water is got insanely so that that's that's fucking good. That's insanely strong. Their water as well. Uh, but that is stronger, of course. English like insanely huge nerf. Fifteen extra second to the first king, so almost one minute. You have to wait almost one minute for the king. And white tower production got nerfed. That that's insane. Uh, French that you can make a villager faster in dark age. That's crazy good. The new French ability. Which is insanely good again. That you get five extra tiles of range against buildings on the bombard. So which means you you need like three royal bombard to one shot a Berkshire. I think that's fine, right? Like three royal bombard to one shot a Berkshire. I think that's perfectly fine. Because uh, this one it also adds to the bonus damage, not just the normal damage. Okay, maybe you need four, not, not three, four. Um, I think that's never mind. Okay, this, this, dude, I will go Shinobi with Japanese on land map. Listen to me. I go Shinobi and I'm gonna turn off the TC every 30 seconds of my, uh, at my opponent. You know how strong, like, if you turn off the opponent TC for, like, just twice, that's one minute delay on the enemy TC for one minute they can't make villagers do you know how broken is that? that's crazy yeah it's really good for this bar though you just you just uh, teleport in and disable it can it be countered? it can if you get it on the TC in time they they can get close uh, close enough if you teleport inside Photo. You will lose the shinobi, but you will able to disable it. So you will lose the shinobi, but at the time when it dies, you disable the TC. Or oh, second TCs will be disabled forever. You mean still use us? No, I think it's gonna be really strong with the increased five health. I uh, that's what I said. Like I think this should be not here. The, they should be still sixty health, but five damage. Just give them back the one stupid damage that they took away. But this is is do you know why is it so strong? Because now horseman takes another hit to kill the archers. Another one hit. For OTD horseman, it was two hit. To get a Yumi Ashigaru, now it's gonna be three. But every horseman as well is gonna be another hit. A uh, horseman buff was really good, but not, 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 not so I didn't say the horseman got nerfed. I said 
Demi, you and me shouldn't be in craze on their health. But that's it. Also, they just fixed the capital ship. This is, doesn't matter. This is really good. Mongols, again, that you can make sheep every 116 seconds. I'm pretty sure under Uvu, this is going to be every minute. So you can make sheep every minute if you put it on Uvu. Because currently, if you put it on Uvu, it's 1 minute 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure about that. And with this is gonna be or one minute forty five seconds. So that, uh, what what it matters is that you're gonna make uh, uh, with a dark age uh, pasture on on your uvu because you're gonna get insanely fast sheep production. Oh yeah, and uh, if you think about it, Mongol dark age horsemen got double buff. Because Mongo Dark Age Horseman has bigger range and uh, two ranged armor. And this is uh, good as well for the Malian, so you don't need to build pit mine on water maps. And this is good for the auto. Uh, like, every change are insanely good. Oh, this is, this is bad. Like, uh, honestly, chat, just don't play uh, Ayubid. Uh, there is no reason to play Ayubid. Like, Byzantine gonna shit on Ayubid now. No joke. Like, they literally killed Ayubid. They didn't change. They So the problem is, they nerfed everything, right? Now it's 15 seconds to first Desert Raider. Uh, villager from 8 to 7. But they didn't give anything. This. I, I, I don't think this is an insane huge buff. Honestly with you guys. I mean, I give them my ideas. I hope they're going to do it on the next season. But this is nothing. Like, if we consider this buff... I'd rather not consider the buff. What's your idea? Of, I don't have the notes here right now. <laughs> I, I have a long note uh, for fixing every every age. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm curious about the Khan Hunter and the uh, House of Learning change. And all the other sieve, by the way, because there's going to be more sieve changes. Yep, 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 yep. This is gonna be a by the way, and also Socotra is wait, did they put Socotra into a one versus one map pool? No. Which means in mid season we will get Socotra as official map. Huh. So Socotra will be official map mid season. <laughs> 